Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. I want to speak to you about raising your vibration through gratitude. Now, I've shared this a number of times, and in the notes below, I will stick a link to the other gratitude videos that I've, and podcasts and blogs that I've done. But I want to dive into gratitude in a deeper way than I have before. Because as I've done it, um, I've realized there's two different ways to do gratitude. That um, at the end of the day, I can look through the things that I'm grateful for. And this in itself is a beautiful, beautiful practice. And just in case you haven't seen or read or listened to any of the other things that I've done, I'll just very quickly share you the, the story of my gratitude journey. And it all happened when I had to move home. And I knew that moving house was very stressful and I'm a single mum so it tends to deplete me quite a lot when I have to move house because a lot of the stuff I have to do on my own. Um, so I decided I wanted to do something in my life to give me strength to make sure that I was staying in the space that I want to be living in, in irrespective of the stress that I knew that I was most likely going to go under. And I chose to start up a gratitude group on Facebook. Now. When I started it, I really didn't expect it to be particularly well attended. I thought some close friends might be kind enough to join me and help me in this space. But what actually happened was to me completely unprecedented. It became a massive, massive group and I think we've got close to 600 people now. Um, which to me is, is, is quite a lot. <laughs> it's a lot more than the handful, like 5 to 10 maximum I thought I was going to have. And this whole journey that I've now gone on for this gratitude group has been phenomenal. Um, initially, when I did it, um, it really did help me when I was through the, the move that I was going through. And I was only going to do it for the month that I was, you know, planning to sort of be moving and settling in. Um, but because so many people joined, um, I extended it way beyond that and have now done it for, for well over a year. And what I want to share with you about this is that initially when I did it, um, I would sit down every night and I would write down um, and share five things that I was grateful for. And I tried to find five different things. I tried not just to have a list that I automatically went to, but something that I could stretch myself and I had to really think about and look at in my life. Now, initially, just the change in my focus in life was noticeable. Because I was now looking for things in my life to be grateful for, um, I went about my day um, with that focus in my life, with the focus of what, what is in my life that I'm grateful for. It was like um, I was pre-programmed as I went about my daily life to, to be sensitive to things of beauty and wonder and just things that made me grateful. And they stood out more clearly because that was my intention throughout my day. But what I've also realized is that you can deepen or expand or make this experience even more rich and beautiful. And the way to do that is by almost stepping more deeply into the things that you found to be grateful for and building them up and amplifying them. So, for instance, um, if I've seen a flower in my garden that I've planted and I've nurtured and grown and it's bloomed, um, I can just write it down and, and it's a focus and it's beautiful and in that respect on its own it's beautiful. But I can take it a level deeper because I can sit with that flower and I can just almost allow the colour to wash over me, to, to allow the energy of the flower to almost step into presence with that flower to allow the joy of the anticipation of it blooming and the joy of seeing it bloom, instead of it just giving it an, an, a cursory nod and saying, yes, that's a lovely thing, is giving space for that to expand in my life. And the more that I allow myself to truly step into that, the more expanded my heart becomes, the more beautiful and joyful my life becomes and the higher my vibration becomes. This is going to be a very short little reflection today, but to me it's so incredibly important because it takes the little small, little things that could be insignificant and it allows you to fully step into the glory of all that they are. It allows you to resonate um, at a higher level and it allows you to bring joy into your life 
and bliss and just so much magic and happiness in the little moments. It's taking those little moments and expanding them so that they, they take up more space and they take up more time and they take up more, they allow more energy into your life. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, I would really appreciate your likes, your subscriptions, your sharing, your comments. I love to hear from you. Um, I also have lots of resources on my website, including um, courses, some free courses, um, lots of blogs, podcasts, YouTube clips, the whole thing. And all the links and everything else will be in the notes below. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.